What's up, everybody? Art needs a little bit of revenge. Failed twice yesterday, can you believe it? On my beloved French challenge, I messed it up. And in the practice demo for today's challenge, which is in Espanol. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can try to at least keep our streak and maybe try to actually nail the challenge. Okay, so hopefully you guys um, did a little bit of research. It turns out that there's quite a nice little boatload of uh, Spanish words that should be perfectly plausible in English as well. Um, I want to start off with a two-word combo that gives me all my vowels and some pretty decent consonants. Um, we're going to go with clase, which is which is just uh, which is just not accepted. Darn it! Okay, so that's the one downside, right? I mean, I don't really look at the, I, I never really look at the wordle list. Like, what's the accepted wordles that you can put in? Because there's like fifteen thousand of them. I thought it would have taken that. Okay, that's okay. Here's here's one that I, I'm certain it will take because we have this exact word in English, tenor. So it's a tenor. Okay. Okay. Not bad. An E and an O. Okay. And we ruled out an ER trap. So that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. Those probably should do it for our vowels. Um, now let's see what we should do. Uh, hmm. Bueno. I mean... Ah, nah. Bueno, unfortunately, is not that good. It helps a little bit with the positioning. Um, it helps a little bit with the positioning. It gets me the B, but then I doubt that we would be using a U as well. And then the N, unfortunately, we don't have. So let's do something better. Uh, let's see. There's An Angel, which is Angel. That would get me an A, a G, and an L. And the E looked at. Yes, we are, you know, repeating the N, but I actually think that's really good. So let's see how Angel does for us guys oh my god for a second i thought we had a five we had a five way unscramble now we have a four plus one unscramble which is still awesome now before we get too excited and think that it could be globe uh sadly we already had it maybe maybe that's good actually okay so this is fantastic oh spanish you're my best friend french wasn't so kind to me actually french was great to me i just completely screwed it up I should have considered topic and done one more guess just to test for a P, which would have been easy. Okay, so tenor and angel uh, almost get you globe, but we have to be careful because we have had it. We, I think we've had glove too. Um, G-O-L-E. Let's think about this. Uh, it wouldn't be golem. And plus, I think we had that. That was way back, like... Like, I think, in the early days of Wordle. Ha, this would be cute. Um, but it wouldn't be Legos. Oh, come on, Art. This shouldn't be too bad. Um, this shouldn't be that bad. What What is this word? I mean, it, it's a 4 plus 1 on scramble. Okay, let's think logically here. First off, the E. Uh, let's try first. I don't think it's going to be first. Lodge. Oh, Lodge. I don't think we've had that. Ah, uh, Should I go for it, guys? I mean, yeah, I think I should. I think we have to go for this. Yeah, I'm very confident we haven't had Lodge, and that fits perfectly. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Are you ready, guys, for an absolutely spectacular guess in three, in a foreign language, no less, using the words tenor and angel? Did Art get today's answer, Lodge, in three? No, he didn't. And once again, he screwed up the challenge because Lodge is probably not in Spanish. Darn it! I shouldn't be so aggressive. I could easily just do another word to, to figure out where stuff is. For instance, I could have done locos um, just to even see if it, if it begins with that or test a word with D. Darn it! Another botched challenge. All right. Um, at least we know where our E goes. Uh, our O is probably going to go in the middle. Oh, I'm so upset. Okay. RG. I 
I mean, we definitely had globe. I, I'm, I'm certain. So what am I missing? Did we not have glove yet? Is it that simple? We just didn't have glove yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess we haven't had glove yet, maybe. Gloam, I don't think it's spelled G-L-O-M-E. -G yeah. Okay. I guess we're going to go with asking, is the answer today's word of the word glove? No, it's not. Whoa, what's going on here? We had globe. I'm almost certain of it. I guess it's globe, but I could have sworn we had it. Yeah, I, oh man. Well, that was bad. That was, wow, talk about a botched up challenge. Talk about a botched up challenge, huh, guys? Oh, man. Oh, well, what can you do? Um, I might have messed up anyway just because I was so convinced we had globe. Ah, oh, shoot. You know what? We've had earth and world. That's where I'm getting mixed up. And I have two, two of those, you know, images in my mind. Um, but, yeah, we don't have globe yet. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Well, what can you do, right, guys? What can you do? Are uh, you ready for a new challenge? So this one's going to be, um, this one's probably going to be the hardest yet, okay? I do hope that you guys had fun with the Spanish one. And I'm sure, again, you guys, you know, not just beat me, but killed me by getting it in fewer guesses and actually honoring the challenge. But yeah, that was terrible. Okay. So guys, here we are on Infinite Wordle. And let me tell you, what is tomorrow's challenge going to be? Okay. Enough of the foreign languages. We did Spanish. We did French. Art failed them both. Let's just stick to regular good old English, and we're going to do the following. It is a fan favorite. We have to do the snake. Yes, we do. The snake. How does the snake work? Uh, very easy. In fact, let's just for the fun of it, we'll start with snake. The snake ends in an E. What does that mean? It means that your next guest must begin with an E, okay? And so on and so forth. So I think you'll see the pattern as I go. Um we want to do a word that uses some brand new letters. It can still end in anything we want, but then the third guess will have to begin with the letter that my second guess ends with, okay? How about, um, uh, let's see here. Evict is pretty good. I mean, the V is not necessarily the best, um, but I think that it's just, you know, four fresh letters anyway. The ICT are great. And it's going to be, you also have to think about, you know, forming your next word. And T will be a pretty easy word to work with. Okay, not bad. So we have an E and a C, but we have to begin our third guess with a T. We should definitely try to position these. Um, I think that would be helpful. So we could be looking at, um, hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. We could be looking at um, I mean, I could I could do tacit, but that that would be really bad. No, we're not going to do that. I mean, I'd love to get like oh, there we go, text. I think it should take text. That would actually be really good. And then we can begin an S word. Oh, wow, that was ingenious, right, guys? Because now we have our E and our C positioned, which is all you can hope for um, when you do these challenges, right? Okay, so now we have to begin with S. Um, again, it's not going to begin with the S. We know that. But what is this word most likely going to be? Um, it could be... Um, hmm. It could be... It's not decal because we don't have an A. Uh, it could be, oh, decor. I think decor would be good to check. Um, so if we have to begin with the S and we want to check for decor, we want to do something like, um, by the way, it, this thing gets very tricky once you start gets toward towards the end because it has to be timed perfectly. We don't do the snake, you know, um, we don't we don't stop the snake, guys. You know, before we think we have the word, it has to include the answer itself. That's what makes this challenging. So we could do, um, let's think about this. I hope it's decor. I mean, I think it is. I really do. 
um, yeah, I think it's going to end up being decor. So if I do, um, well, then I want it to end in a D so that that way I can do decor on my fifth guess. Um, I think solid should do the trick. Yeah, uh, because let's think about that. Decor, oh, decoy. Oh, so we could be in trouble. So we really have to make sure we nail this. Um, so we have, I think it'll either be decor or decoy. Solid will not be solid enough. It will not differentiate between the two. So what if we were to do, um, uh, let's see. Um, Synod. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that'll definitely differentiate it now. Okay, let's go with Synod. And then we can hopefully do decor. Please light up D. No. Oh, shoot, guys. We're going to... This is tough. I don't think this is going to work. It's not decor after all. And we have to begin with a D. We still have a chance to get this, but let's just think this through. I just need to make sure that my fifth guess ends on the letter that this thing better start with. So it wasn't decor. What did I miss? Oh, maybe recur. I hope it's recur. So, honestly, now we could do decor and then finish it off with recur. Oh, thank God. Okay. We nailed it, guys. Look at that. It's, um, it's a doable challenge, but it's, it's not easy, and you really have to think it through a couple steps ahead just to make sure that you uh, don't run out of guesses. But look, isn't that beautiful? So you've got snake, it ended in an E. Evict begins with an E, ends in a T. Text begins with a T, ends in an S. Synod begins with an S, ends in a D. Decor begins with a D, ends in an R, and we nailed it with recur. And you can always tell that you nailed the challenge because if you just take the right column and shift it down one, notice it would match up perfectly with the left column. So finally, um, a successful challenge. Now I just hope that I can do it tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy. I can't wait to see your snake results. You do not need to start with snake, but you need to obey the pattern. And there you have it, guys. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another round of Wordle.